93.5 FM. Kite Your Radio. Good evening and welcome to this evening's newscast right here on Kaiju Radio. I am Kevin Smith. Let's get to the news in detail. Before the government grants its approval for the field development plan for ExxonMobil's third project in the Starbuck block called Payara, there are two major environmental issues that have to be addressed. One that is of grave concern is the fact that ExxonMobil is opposed to being bound by provisions that would prevent it from flaring once Payara gets up and running. In fact, Exxon wants to preserve the same ambiguous language of its first permit for the LISA Phase 1 project, which allowed it to flare over 10 billion cubic feet of gas on the LISA Destiny vessel. EPA head Dr. Vincent Adams said he has a duty to protect the nation and ensure that the same blunder with the first permit is not made again. Extensive research shows that gas flaring contributes to climate change, which has serious implications for the world. In other news, Russell deal, Russell's deal sorry, with Guyana is on the agenda of discussions to be held in an upcoming meeting, according to Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Bharat. The government has also requested a report from Russell to determine its future operations in Guyana during a meeting between the company and government officials. Bauxite Company of Guyana Inc. is 90% owned by Russell, with the rest owned by the government of Guyana. The operations are at sites that were owned by the government in Arawaima in Kurubuka, Upper Burbis River area, Region 10. Minister Barrett stated that President Irfan Ali asked for a meeting to be held with the company, as he would like to see their operations in Guyana restart. Bauxite Company of Guyana has seen many disputes between workers and management over labor and wages within the past decade. Let's tell you now that GTT has urged customers to take precautions to secure their personal data and information in light of attempts by persons to scam customers. GTT's VP of Customer Experience, Orson Ferguson, indicated that customers should take all the necessary steps to prevent themselves from falling prey to these scams. He said that in the interim, customers can use Mobile Money Guyana to self-top up and credit other numbers. The company indicated that once they're, they are comfortable with the reassessment, the mobile credit transfer feature will be reintroduced at a later date. The company continues to warn customers and encourages all customers to confirm all of the company's promotions at www.gtt.co.gy slash promotions or by way of the local media. Stay tuned. Coming up next is your COVID-19 update. <laughs> 